Amen, amen. Let's give it up for Bishop and First Lady Banks. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Amen. I'm Bishop Von Ray Banks, Senior Pastor of Indy Faith Christian Fellowship Ministries, and welcome to our Sunday fellowship service. Happy Palm Sunday! Yes, happy Amen. Palm Sunday. Father God, we're so thankful to Him sending His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And we are so grateful to be in the house of the Lord again today to worship and fellowship with you all. Shout out to our YouTube community, our Facebook community, Twitter community, and those that are joining us on our church's uh, page on the internet. Amen. So just so thankful for all everyone's support and love that you're pouring out upon us, and especially for your prayers. We ask you to continue to pray for us as we are praying for you, believe in God's victory in your life for this year of 2023. Can you believe it? We're already into the month of April. That's a special month for our Pastor Glenda. Amen. Isn't it special? Month? Oh, it's her birthday month. Amen. Give the Lord the praise. Making it into another year, amen, hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout out to all of our April babies, amen. amen. And especially to uh, Keisha Gore, amen. Yes, and uh, a shout out to her. you, happy birthday to you. That is our, of course, our minister and training mother, amen. We Yay. should shout out to him. Also, we want to give a shout out to um, all of our family members that are in the month of April, amen. We've got so many family members' yes. birthdays that are going on this month, amen. It's, just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> all these spring babies, hallelujah. <laughs> So we're thanking the Lord for you all, and we're going to be celebrating uh, this month as, as our Lord and Savior uh, start off for the Palm Sunday, and we're going to be uh, celebrating Resurrection Sunday, and we're going to be keeping in remembrance the Passover, amen, because Jesus Christ is our Passover, amen. Praise the Lord. Shout out to Worship Then, amen, Bishop Butler and Gloria Butler. Thank you all for joining us, everyone, and shout out to Evangelist Joy and her family and ministry, amen, and her family. And her father and uh, Pastor Kamar, God, God bless you. Happy Palm Sunday to you all as you celebrate. And just continue on you know, getting together and celebrating the Lord. Amen. Because that is going to make the difference. People are in desperate need of a relationship with Father God. Amen. And as of this first Sunday in the month of April, we are grateful to be privileged to be servant leaders and to bring to you the gospel of Christ. Amen. Remember, he's called you to be disciples. And that's going to be the difference between you and those chinos. Amen, Christian, in name only. <laughs> amen. So we want to be that. We want to be down with the goats. We want to be down with the sheep. Amen. So we're so thankful to the Lord, though, again. There's many full blessings and so many great things are going on this month. Uh, we'll be heading out. Please pray for us. We'll be traveling to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Amen. To meet up with Bishop Jackson at the uh, conference of, of our Good Friday celebration together of the Lord. Amen. And we're so grateful for him resuming the in-person conferences. Amen. And so we're looking forward to that. So just pray for us as we travel out to go to minister. Also, during this month, we're going to be going out to um, fellowship with uh, um, Apostle Furman and his church, uh, Faith Family Church. Amen. And uh, at Fiscal, New York. And we're so grateful. We want to invite everybody out to come with that as well. Because like I said, uh, we are on the move. God is calling us out to go forth and to preach the gospel of Christ and to fellowship with our brothers and sisters of Christ. So keep us in prayer and keep us, uh, uh, you know, with all the fellowship that you're doing because we really appreciate it our numbers are growing very very strong online we are thankful for everyone that comes in and, and views with our ministry to fellowship with us we reminding you that's because of you that we are here to minister the gospel thankful for everybody that's messaging us with prayer requests and calling in on our church's uh, telephone line thankful for everyone that's doing that because the work of the lord's got to go forward like never before in this time and season amen we also um, are praying and belie believing for comfort and encouragement for those that have lost loved ones in light of the, uh, the horrible tragedy that happened in Nashville, Tennessee at one of our uh, fellow ch um, brothers and sisters of Christ Church down there. We are praying for that entire family and we are praying for uh, the right things to be done to bring about peace and justice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So just continue to pray for everyone, like I said, daily and hold everybody up in prayer because you never know how the enemy may attack, but we know that we will prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to pass this over to our lovely wife, uh, Pastor Glenda, lead us to prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for waking us up this day, giving us another breath of life, Father God. Oh, Father God, just continue to uh, bless 
each and every one of us that's here, Father God. Uh, we, we, we welcome you today, Father God, um, um, being um, walking, uh, coming in from Jerusalem, Father God, and we um, saying praises unto you. Hosanna to the highest, Father God. We welcome you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to bless our families, Father God, and the sick and the shut in, Father God. And uh, we said by his stripes we are all healed by the blood, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. And continue to uh, bless those uh, lost loved ones, Father God, that you give them the peace, the love, um, and comfort, Father God, that they need. Um, to be covered by your blood, Father God. And Father God, just um, as we go forth singing great praises unto you, that we be on a one accord, Father God, praising your holy name, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you, and we just give you all the honor and the glory, Father God, and we just thank you, Father God, because you are the way maker, the way, the truth, and the life. And those who worship him, Father God, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. So we just thank you, Father God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world, Father God. We praise you. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. In Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, my love. Praise God. Bless you. Amen. So we're going to get ready to get into praise and worship time. Amen. So get your shouting shoes on. We want you to join in as we worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, all right? So we're going to take a break and get ready for the praise and worship. Amen.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's get into praise and worship. Thank you for your patience. Amen. Clint Utterback, amen, hallelujah, amen, God bless him and redeeming Live Christian Center, amen, we used to uh, fellowship out with him, my father used to take us out to that ministry over there in Rockland County, and actually as of today, they're still growing strong out there, amen, praise God, hallelujah, no turning back.
today, man, on the camera. So grateful to him. Amen. God bless him. So we love to praise the Lord, and we want to remind you during this Palm Sunday celebration that Jesus is our source of our strength, 
and he is our hope for tomorrow. He's our everything. And when times get dark and challenging and difficult, you have to do what the Lord did. You know, he went to Father in prayer, amen, and sought strength from him. And no, we need the Lord, Father God, to strengthen us, especially when times get very hard and difficult. But remember, he is our source and our strength, amen, and he's our redeemer. Song of Strength. Let's 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hold on and don't you ever let go. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have faith in him and he's strengthening us, you know, we look toward the Lord to turn every situation and circumstance around because he's promised that in his word, that if we trust in him and depend on him and lean on him and look toward him, he will deliver us out of all bad situations and circumstances because he loves us and he wants to see us prosper, be in good health, even as our soul prospers. So we're thankful that when you cry out to the Lord, when you go and trust in him and walk by faith and not by sight, he will turn the situation around, amen, just like he did when he went to Calvary's mountain. He turned everything around for us, the places into this new covenant of grace and his love, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Come on. Turn it around. Open the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing. Overflow. Turn it around. Open the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing. We cannot contain. Yeah. Let it rain. Yeah. Come on. Let me hear y'all shout out to the Lord. Yeah. Let it rain. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. All things are possible for you. All things are possible. No, this is difficult. No, no, no. Nothing for you. Nothing's too difficult. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. All things are possible for you. Yeah. All things are possible. No, this is difficult. Nothing's too difficult for you. Nothing's too difficult. Hey, I'm ready for rain. I'm ready for rain. Ready for change. Ready for faith. Yes, I thank you, Lord. You have turned hey. my morning 
Reign over our lives. Reign with your spirit, Father God, in your love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for reigning over our lives and watching over us and protecting us and keeping us from the hands of the enemy. And Jesus, we want to tell you so much how much we love you and are grateful to you. So as faithful praise, we're going to sing one of our originals entitled, Ode to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So grateful and thankful for you. How you went to Calvary's mountain and suffered and endured and paid every debt of our sins on Calvary's mountain to redeem us from the curse of the law and place us into the number of beloved grace, Father God. And so we're grateful to you, Jesus. And we wrote this song to show you that you are our friend because we are a friend of God. And nothing can separate us from your love. And what greater love than this than a man that lays down his life for his friends? Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for being our friend and being there for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So glad that we have a friend in Jesus. Amen. That we're able to know that we are protected, that we are provided for, that we are that we have a royal priesthood over us, that we have a governing life force over us that will keep us in all of our ways, keep us on the path of righteousness for his name's sake, amen. Because why? He's on our side, amen. And he's for us. And if he's for us, who can be against us, amen. I think this over to Evangelist Crystal, we will sign this song. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord. This Palm Sunday, he is truly on our side. He proved that when he walked on those palms to go to the cross uh, as he was received. Uh, he's on our side. And it, he proved that. Amen. Come on, everybody. Lift up the Lord and give him some praise today.
Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're going to close out with this song, Oh, What a Privilege. Amen. It's time for us to continue on in the celebration of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our King, has his triumphant entrance into Jerusalem Amen. as we remember the victory. Amen. Amen. That was the sign of his coming. Amen. When he came riding on that mule into the city of Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Top four fans. Here we go. Faithful praise. testimony service. Give it up for her. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Give the Lord a praise today. Thank you, Bishop Banks, for the introduction. Amen. 
Amen. And happy Palm Sunday to everybody. Woo! Yes, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> praise be to Jesus Christ for waking me up this morning to see another breath of life and to have life as always. Amen. So this is the portion of our service where we give a testimony onto the Lord today. If there is something that God has delivered you from or brought you out of this week, if you went through a situation or a trial or a tribulation and God was there to help you and God was there to um, bless you, amen, just to share your testimony of what God has did for you because I'm sure that he sees it, he honors it, and he deserves the praise at all times. Every single day, not just on Sundays, God deserves all the honor and the glory and the praise each and every day. Amen. Someone, I just want to say shout out to everybody who is watching um, and fellowshipping with us at home or on a live stream. Or if you are watching from another ministry, God bless each and every one of you. Shout out to everybody who is participating and fellowshipping and worshiping God with us today. Because again, he deserves it at all times. Amen. And at all times, God is good. All the time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So if there was anybody in the house of the Lord that would like to share their testimony of what God has delivered them from, what God has brought them out of, definitely share and just uh, give God the praise and the glory today because he deserves it. Amen. So I guess I will go first. Amen. I just am very grateful again for the Lord for waking me up this morning, allowing me to have another breath of life. I'm very grateful for God um, healing and restoring me through my trials and my errors and my tri tribulations and being there to correct me, to comfort me, to just be my father, just to have that personal relationship with Father God is so amazing. And I'm so grateful for my personal relationship with Father God, that he is there to love me ever. He's there to give me everlasting love. He's there to give me everlasting joy and peace. And I am just so so grateful for that. I am just so uh, humbled and blessed to be in the presence of God today because without him, I would be nothing. And I am just so grateful to the Lord. Amen. So that is my little testimony. Amen. I give God the glory today. I give God the praise because he deserves it at all times. Amen. Um, I remember to uh, continue to pray for those who have lost loved ones. Amen. Continue to pray for those lives who have gotten taken away from Nashville, I believe it is. Nashville, the shooting. That is severely horrible and it's terrible. But God has their hands upon those families. I know he is there comforting them during this difficult time. But we continue to pray for those people who have lost loved ones unexpectedly. Amen. For they do not, uh, they never thought they would ever see that day. But God is there to heal them and restore them. Amen. Um, just to remember to continue to encourage one another, continue to love one another. Amen. Continue to forgive, reconcile, restore yourself, heal, work on things that are, you know, wrong in you. You know, God is here to uh, help you. Amen. Go to God about these problems. Go to God to, um, you know, just to learn how to love others uh, because Jesus loved us. Amen. And, um, Remember to continue to pray for my strength in the Lord as I pray for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Give God the glory, amen. Praise God. Would there be anyone else that would give their testimony unto the Lord today? Praise God. Amen, minister in training. That's right. Give your testimony. Give your testimony. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hope y'all are having a blessed service, especially online. Hope y'all are receiving from the praise and worship that went forth. Amen. I was very thankful to wake up this morning. I'm just thankful to Father God, and the thing that I learned definitely this week is just staying in obedience with Father God, because, you know, I'm telling you, we're called to walk as disciples and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I'm telling you, like, it's an ongoing battle. We got to go against the principalities, against the, our own flesh, as it, as it says in Ephesians chapter 6. I'm telling you, it's an ongoing fight, but Jesus Christ gives you the victory to get through it all, and I'm just thankful for him getting through me through the week as well, and I was actually blessed this past Saturday. You know, I was actually ended up working at the Fishkill Music Academy, matter of fact, and was able to bless the kids with learning abilities on, you know, piano and everything. And then I was able to bless others, especially with the ministry of Father, Father God and everything. I was just thankful to hearken unto the word, to say it, to be encouragement to others and everything. So I'm just standing. I was like, yo, y'all can do it too. Y'all can spread the word of God. He's called us to preach the gospel with one another. And I'm just thankful that I was able to hearken and listen to the voice to be on the right path of righteousness for his name's sake. So I'm just thankful for this day, and hopefully y'all... Have a blessed day, and just keep me in prayer as I pray for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Back to you, Minister Antrena. 
Amen. Thank you, Pastor Jethro, for the awesome testimony. We are so, I'm super proud that you were able to go out and preach the gospel to people that definitely needed it. But yes, obedience is better than sacrifice. If you chose to, you know, not go into work that day and be like, hey, I'm taking a day off, you know, those people wouldn't have been able to receive the word. So look at that obedience and, and um, Father, um, eh, oh my goodness, praise God. <laughs> look at the obedience that Jethro had and was able to persevere in the Lord's name to be able to still go into work. Because of that, he was able to bless others, as we are called to do, is to bless one another and to love one another. Amen. Praise God. Would there be anyone else that would give their testimony on to the Lord today? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I give all the honor and the glory and the praise to Jesus today. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. I'm just so forever thankful and grateful. Um, and I just want to say um, happy Pond Sunday to everyone. Praise God, hallelujah. Um, I just want to give a um, word of encouragement that Jesus entered Jerusalem. And Jesus entered Jerusalem riding on a humble donkey. His followers threw their coats and large palm leaves on a dirty ground before him. An enormous crowd gathered because of the miracles he had performed. Some religion leaders were afraid of Jesus and even hated him. But many people believed he was their king. And they tried to give him king's welcome. Hosanna to the son of out bless the king of who come in the name of the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, hallelujah. So I'm thankful for him today. Praise God, hallelujah. Y'all pray my strength to the Lord as I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God the glory for that one. Amen. Powerhouse as always. Thank you, First Lady uh, Glenda Banks. Amen for your powerhouse always being a blessing. Amen. And, and just proclaiming the word of God and proclaiming the truth of Jesus Christ. Amen. And always preaching that gospel. She is not afraid to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. She is not afraid to admit that she loves the Lord. Amen. And I love that. I love that confidence and the boldness and that. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> oh Lord, now she's speaking in tongues, y'all. Listen, the Holy Spirit moving right now. <laughs> amen. Praise God. So, amen. Amen. Praise God. Would there be anyone else that would give their testimony on to the Lord today before we move forward with our service? Amen. Okay. Amen. Hey everyone, praise the Lord. Um, I just want to say thank you, God, for all the cool stuff I had over the years, like all the food on my plate, uh, all the YouTube stuff and uh, video games I'm playing over the years since I was six years old. And, uh, and uh, yeah, um, praise the Lord. and Thank you, God. God bless you all, guys, for, for watching the video. It's um, praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Give the Lord a praise for our amazing media tech, our brother in Christ, yet yeah, tech minister. Okay, well, stuff like that. Okay, praise the Lord, proclaim that. Amen. Yes, our brother in Christ as well. Uh, brother Eric, amen. Thank you for your awesome testimony. Amen. And just giving God the praise because he deserves it. Awesome, 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 awesome. So if that is all, I guess. That will conclude the portion of the service. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to my mom, Dre. Happy birthday, mom. I love you. I don't think like I didn't forget. I didn't. Okay. I love you. I will definitely see you soon. Amen. But happy birthday, mom. Um, God bless you another year. Amen. Um, so grateful that uh, you are taking the step to walk more in Christ. Amen. So I'm very grateful and I'm very 
very appreciative of you and I love you so much. Um, definitely shout out to um, Brianna as well, my sister-in-law. Amen. She will be finally having my nephew as of tomorrow, correct? Is, my, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so she's finally having the baby tomorrow. Kamari is finally coming, y'all. She, he is about to come out praising God. I know that for sure. <laughs> But I am very grateful for my sister-in-law and my amazing um, younger brother, uh, Carl, for continuing to walk in faith and not by sight and um, continuing to be a soldier in Christ. Amen. Um, I love each and every one of you guys and also my other siblings as well. Um, I just love each and every one of you guys and shout out to each and every one of you. Um, May this bless and keep you today and may you... uh, Be able to seek God eventually and find him so that way you may not have to search any longer. Um, Always continue to uh, spread the good news, spread the gospel. And just to remember that Father God loves you, we love you, and Jesus is Lord. Amen. So we're going to go right into the announcements. We'll be right back. Hello everyone. I am your church secretary. Christine Hello everyone. Jones. I, I am hope your church you're having a blessed day. Here are the church I hope you're having a blessed day. And here are the church announcements. Our Wednesday night Bible study will be at 7 p.m. and our Sunday worship service at 12 p.m. Join us for Praise Sitter Night every fourth Friday at 8 p.m. Join us for the T.O.P. Inspiration and Prayer Call, which will be every Wednesday at 8 a.m. New Life Christian Conference Annual Spring Conference will be April 5th, 6th, and 7th at Double Tree Willow Valley Resort Hotel in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Family Community Church will be having their Family and Friends Day with guest speaker Bishop Henri Banks Sunday, April 30th at 4 p.m. The Lasores Amiable Civic Club will be having their 72nd Annual Spring Scholarship Luncheon with this year's honoree, Pastor Glenda M. Banks. It will be at the Villa Burgies in Wabberton Falls, New York on May 6th at 12 p.m. Curious to see where Miss Jones will be next? Here is her comedy slash hosting schedule. You can also book her at MissJonesProductions.com. This concludes our church announcements. Thank you all and have a blessed day. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a praise. Amen. So that was the announcements. Amen. If you have any more information or questions about the events, you can definitely reach out to us through email or through Facebook Messenger. Amen. We also have um, other sources of media that you can also reach out to us from, but those are our main sources is uh, through our email and Facebook Messenger. So now we're going to move forward with the service and we're going to receive the message of giving unto the Lord from our beautiful evangelist, Crystal. Amen. Greet her with a hearty amen. Give God the praise. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Lady Banks praising the Lord today, huh? <laughs> amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Crusadia. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we just, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank God for this time and season that we're in, remembering the death, burial, and resurrection, remembering the triumphant entrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Into Jerusalem, proclaiming the name of the Lord. Amen. Hosanna, blessed be the rock of our salvation. Now, how many know back in the day and in now, during that time, you did not enter the temple empty-handed, especially during this time, amen. There is dispensations, times and seasons in the Lord's where uh, we are blessed all the time, but there are particular uh, blessings that you can partake in, amen, amen. Uh, that are just between you and God, your covenant with God. But he also has commanded us uh, to keep his covenants, amen? And one of them is with our earnings, hallelujah, with, is with sharing, uh, as we know that the kingdom of heaven and earth operates in sharing, amen, and giving. That is how your 
blessings are received. God said, as a man sows, so shall he also reap. Amen. That is a given law in the earth. As you give, you'll receive. Now, we don't uh, encourage you to give just to receive from God because uh, God said uh, you ask what you ask amiss. You, uh, when you do that, you're not really in covenant. You're out of fellowship with God because you're just doing to receive. He said you just ask to receive on your flesh. But when you have a heart for God, how many know it? Amen. And you really want to live in the kingdom of God, then you will honor the covenants of God. Can I get a good amen in the house? Just quickly turn with me to Malachi 3.10. You've heard me several times. Read it. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified, whatever version you have. Uh, try to follow along. God was talking uh, to the people, and he was talking to the priest uh, to give the message to the people to bring all the tithes, the whole tenth of your income, amen, into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. How do we equate that to this latter day, amen, that there may be transmissions going out to all the world, that we will keep the church doors open, amen, that we will feed the hungry and the poor as God has commanded together as we all give, amen. We are all the priests of the house as well as the members, as well as all of us in the body of Christ are, Christ are commanded to give our tithes and offerings where you are being fed. If it is through this ministry, then you are to sow. God has commanded it. I have given you those scriptures many times. You can look them up yourself. So as we continue in Malachi 10, bring it into the storehouse that there may be food Amen. In the house of God, in my house, and power and prove me now, God said, the only place in the Bible where we see God himself said, prove him. He says, prove me now by it says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven, which are opening now during this time and season of receiving, amen, during this time of season, receiving what Jesus did on the cross for us, uh, the Lord said, prove me now. I'll say it one more time. Uh, by it, uh, by it, says the Lord of hosts, and see if I will not open the windows of heaven, that there shall not be room enough to receive what? Receive the blessings from God himself providing for you, amen, being, hallelujah, uh, obedient to, to the commandment of God. Now, those there are scholars that would say that was Old Testament. That was then. No, I'm talking about right now. You know why I can talk about right now? Because I honor these covenants and I have seen uh, the hand of God move in my life, amen, by honoring these covenants of God. So I'm just not talking the talk, but I am walking the walk. So when I'm up here ministering, I'm talking about something that I do know, amen, that I am obedient to, and that is to the tithes and the offerings and the giving to God. That is one area of our life. If you would, uh, amen, if you would uh, turn to Hebrews 7 and 2, and we're just going to look at that real quickly. Hebrews 7 and 2. This is talking about when you come into the temple, those of you that come in and you receive and you're fed and you're given in these churches and they look out for you and they're there for you in the midnight hour and they're there for you, for your families and you don't give, that is a travesty. Amen. When you don't give from your heart or you're not obedient, amen, not only are you not giving out of uh, being thankful for the ministers and those that labor over your soul, but you are being disobedient to God. Amen. That we don't want to do, beloved. Amen. We don't want to be disobedient more so to God because he is the blesser over our lives and we want him to be happy with our lives. Amen. And if you are a Christian, that should be your desire to please God. Abraham, I'm sorry, Hebrews 7 and 2. We're going to turn there. I just want to read to you in also in the New Testament where it says, that we need to bring our, our tithes in. So this is talking about Abraham. He was the beginning of tithing, amen. God had blessed him. He was obedient to God. He was obedient to God. He left his kindred, his mother, his fathers, and forsook all and followed Jesus. That's what the Bible, well, God, he followed God. Then Jesus was not there just yet. But he was obedient to God. That's the point. And so then God blessed him, amen, abundantly. So this is what Abraham did. And this is where we get the 10th. Amen. And it's just a benchmark. God didn't just limit it to the 10th. I mean, however Holy Spirit leads you, and we're going to get into another scripture to prove that you give as you have. Amen. But right here, seven and two, I'm reading out of the Amplified. And Abraham gave 
to him who Melchizedek, the priest that came to bless all that he had. So Abraham gave immediately. He gave and he figured it out. He gave him a tenth portion of all the spoil or all that he had. He is primarily as his name which is translated, indicates king of righteousness. This was the priest that came to visit Abraham. His name was Melchizedek. So Abraham gave a tenth of all he had to honor God. See, this is what it is, beloved. It's not about the preachers trying to take your money, and it's not about the church trying to take your money. But no, it's about you giving, especially in this season. You should be getting your special offerings ready to show God that you appreciate, amen, that his only son came preaching love, was crucified, beaten, smitten, cast down, hung up on a cross, amen, pierced in his side, blood came streaming down for you, beloved. So then they Therefore, don't be begrudging. Amen. God said, if, amen, if your hand is tight, you can't receive. So give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together and overflowing. As we just read, God will cause giving to be given unto you. So for those of you um, who, well, you know, I, I can't and I won't and I don't have enough. Let's turn to Deuteronomy 16, 17. If you're doing by what your pocketbook is, you will never have enough, beloved. You can't look that way. All things are spiritual first. Amen. And I'm telling you from the heart what I practice. Amen. And if I don't have it, I'm going to go to God and I'm going to say, listen, bless me. Amen. So figure it out. If you don't have a tithe to give today, but you desire to give it and you're giving a tenth, that meant that you received income. That meant that God has blessed you and honored that and honored your request. So that means that not only will you have your tenth to give, but he's also blessed you to have the abundant, the overflow that you will need to sustain you. Amen. So that's how it works. We serve an awesome God that has a kingdom. It doesn't work and operate the way the world works. We have to learn to do things God's way. So Deuteronomy, amen. I should know my books is in the beginning of the Bible. It's in the Old Testament right after Numbers. So we're going to Deuteronomy 16 and 17. And then after that, we're going to go to Deuteronomy, um, the backtrack into 16. And um, we are going to end and conclude there. I hope you're receiving something out of this. If you are in the house, say amen. So Deuteronomy 16 and 17, I'm reading out of the Amplified. Every man, meaning coming into the temple or into the presence of God, shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord on your life, your God, which, has, which he has given you. Well, I go to work every day. I'm getting up. I'm pressing on. Well, he breathed the breath of, breath of life into you to get up in the first place. Amen. He put the roof, helped you to have the roof over your head. He blessed you that you would have the job to give. Amen. So is God involved? Yes, he is, beloved. He is keeping you. He is keeping his word. We need to keep his. So Deuteronomy 16 and 17, give as you are able. Give as Holy Spirit uh, guide you to give. Amen. And if you look up at the 16th verse, and we're going to end right here. And the 16th verse says, amen, Deuteronomy 17, 16, 16, 16, I'm sorry, 16 and 16. Three times a year shall, shall your males, or as we are, you know, in the latter days, shall we, three times a year shall we appear before the Lord your God in the place which he has chosen at the, the feast, amen, of unleavened bread, at the feast of weeks, and at the feast of tabernacles. So for us, that is the feast. For those of you that are Christians and keep Passover, that is the feast of Passover. That is the feast of Pentecost in this language now. And that is also the a day of atonement, amen, which uh, there are Christians, amen. These are not Jewish holidays. Let's make it clear. These are Christian Hebrew holidays that God anointed and appointed himself for us to keep. Yes, it's in the Old Testament, but there's also reference to Passover in the New Testament. God said, keep the, the Feast of Unleavened. Jesus said it, amen, in the New Testament. It's in, uh, I believe it's in Hebrews, uh, Bishop. So, you know, when you're saying, or, or in Corinthians, but when you're saying that the old is not uh, relevant to the New Testament, yes, it is. Why? Because the Old Testament 
was Jesus concealed. The New Testament is Jesus revealed, and it all works together. So be blessed. Amen. I hope you've received something out of it. No, get your special uh, offerings within the next uh, few weeks to sow where you're ministered to or to sow into this ministry. If you're receiving and you're being blessed, let us know. Uh, you know, let us know through the chat, email, or write the ministry. We want to know that you're receiving and you're growing. And also bless the ministry with your giving. Why? Because we're working this together to make sure, hallelujah, that the kingdom of heaven is preached all over the world. Amen. If you received in the house today, let me hear a good amen. Praise the Lord. So let's get ready, beloved, to give your special offerings. You can do it today. You can do it uh, Easter Sunday, but just get your special offerings ready as the Holy Spirit leads you. Be cheerful and be quick to do it. Don't talk yourself out of it. Why? You will talk yourself out of a blessing. Amen. So if you received that, we have many ways that you can give, beloved. You can give through PayPal. You can give through Cash App, amen. You can give through text to give. Praise the Lord. You can write the ministry, amen, and sow a check or money offering. We love you, beloved, and we bless you, and we're going to give you a moment to sow your tithes and offerings uh, into the ministry, and then we will be right back. Amen, beloved. Amen. Amen. Thank you for each and every one that gave on today and that will give uh, the special offering and wants to sow into the ministry as well. Your offering, your resurrection offering um, will be prayed over. Your Passover offering, if you want to sow into this ministry as well, will be prayed over. So especially just make sure when you're sending it in uh, that you designate it for uh, resurrection offering, Passover offering, Amen. So that we know and we will uh, the priest has to literally pray over those uh, specific scriptures. Amen. For your giving uh, during this time. So, Father God, bow your heads. Amen. Father God, we just thank you for each and every heart that gave today. We thank you for those that are watching that, that this may be all new, but have a desire to give. God bless them that on the next time they will be able to. sow. Um, amen. As the Holy Spirit leads them to. Father God, we thank you for each and every hand, Lord, uh, uh, 
supply abundantly all their needs above all they could ask or think. You're a loving God and you are able to provide all our needs. So multiply the seed sown. We thank you for each and every hand that gave, for every partner to the ministry and those to come. We thank you for each and every love offering. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, praise the Lord, beloved. We thank you that you're here with us today on Palm Sunday. So now we are going to feed your soul with the word of God. Amen. Uh, let's receive Bishop uh, Banks with a hearty amen who is going to deliver the word this Palm Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise amen. Thank you so much. Yes. Evangelist, good job today. Amen. Happy Palm amen. Sunday to you. Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God that has taken away all the sins of the world. Amen. We are so thankful and grateful for this celebration day of the glory of God coming into the Jerusalem. Amen. His triumphant entry. Amen. Praise God. Well, without further ado, let us get into prayer so we can get right into the word of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Bless us to see another day in your holy name. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory, for this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, give thanks unto you, Lord, for you are good, and your mercy endured forever. And now bless the Lord at all times, and your praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Why? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so we thank you, Lord for reaping our lives back into the presence of you, Father God. We thank you so much, Jesus, for your triumphant entry into Jerusalem as we celebrate this Palm Sunday. Bless everyone that's tuning in and listening. Fill us and increase us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and revelation of your word and willful lives. Perfect us and conform us to your ways, for we are your disciples and we follow after you and none other, Lord, Father God. And so we thank you, Jesus, for all that you did and everything you accomplished at Calvary Mountain to help us to become children of God and for us to be back home with the Father where we belong. And so we're thankful for it all, and we're grateful for it all. And we pray and intercede for those, Father God, that has lost loved ones this week, Father God. Pray and intercede for them that you'll help them and encourage them and strengthen them and comfort them. Those that are sick, Father God, in their bodies, Father God, we pray and intercede for their healing. Pray and intercede for Pastor McCaskill, her healing and restoration, Father God. We just thank the Lord, Father God, for keeping the family from hurt, harm, and danger, Lord, Father God. For your word in Psalm 91 is true, and we stand on that as your disciples. We will continue in your word. For you said, Jesus, that if we continue in your word indeed and believe, then we are your disciples indeed. And so we're grateful for it all and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Won't keep you long, but the word going to be strong today. Amen. We are thankful to the Lord as he's continuing to keep us to study on discipleship amen father god we are just so thankful for him increasing our knowledge and awareness of who we are and showing us how we can walk in the abundance lord father god of his word you know and so we want to get into that word today we want to be able to study his word and we want to be able to increase in that knowledge amen praise the lord so if you have your bibles put them up raise them up high and repeat after me say this is the bible this is the word of god Speaking to, me. Speaking to me, I can have what he says I can have, I can do what he says I can do, I am who he says I am, my mind is open and my heart is receptive and I fully expect to receive the engrafted, ever living word of God, I'll never be the same again, say never, 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 in Jesus name, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah. All right, y'all sound good as always. Well, this year we are studying on discipleship, amen? So we want you to continue on uh, going over these scriptures and growing in them because this is what's going to set you apart. Remember in the old days, they used to not call them Christians, but they called them the set-apart ones, amen? And so it's important for us to understand that um, Jesus always went around teaching the kingdom, amen? Because why? We are to be his disciples, amen? Hallelujah. So keep this in mind that when you are studying the Word of God, you are disciplining yourself to the Word of God. And this is what will keep us and help us to be able to accomplish that which God has laid out for us to do in His will. Amen. Remember, Jesus taught us that what? Uh, when we pray, believe that we receive them and we shall have them, right? But He also said in what? When you pray, also what? Say, Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He's constantly kept teaching us that it's about the Father's will being accomplished 
and not our own. Because if we're doing the Father's will, guess what's going to happen? The things that we so desire will be in alignment and those blessings will flow. Amen. He knows every need. He knows every hair upon our head. Amen. Or numbered by him. And so he knows our every. He created us. So don't worry. Don't fret. Anything that you think you need of and things that you desire, believe you me. God placed that desire there. Amen. So he will fulfill it in Jesus' name. Okay, so like I said, we're going to turn to our foundational scripture in St. John's, chapter 8, verse 31. By the time this year is over, you're going to know that one backwards and forward. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Pastor Jethro, I need to adjust. Uh... Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Eight, chapter 8, verse 31. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Okay, so in uh, chapter 8, verse 31, it says the following. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. I like what evangelists were sharing, you know, they said the, she was like sharing with y'all, letting y'all know what. Well, it's not all, you know, y'all might just think this is all Hebrew and Jewish type of holidays and situations, but no, no. The Jews simply were followers of God, amen. They were the first nation of people that decided to follow after the one and true Yahweh God. You know, so guess what? So if you are, have been bought with that high price, if you've been baptized into the body of Christ and you've been born again, you're now children of God. Amen. And so that means that now you are a follower of Christ. And as a result, all the benefits, all the glory, all the honor, all the wonderfulness of God's uh, presence is in you and upon you and in your life. So now I'm going to do the same things that Jesus did. Amen. Praise the Lord. So here he is saying what? If you are a child of God and you believe on him, okay, if you continue in my word, whatever he has sh spoken and said, remember, he says that which is of the Father. He said, if you continue in my word, then you are what? My disciples indeed. Amen. My disciples indeed. What's going to happen? If I continue to do what his word tells me to do, I'm carrying out the deeds of what Father God wants in my life. Other people will see that. Amen. They will see the glory of God. Why? They'll be like, how come you're not out there cussing and fussing and doing all kind of simple stuff? Because I'm continuing in his word. Amen. That will set me apart. That will cause me to be an example. Amen. To the world of the kingdom of God. Why? So he can draw men unto him. Amen. I'm dying to self. I'm living for Christ. Why? Because it's the only way, the truth and the life. There is no other way. Amen. So I want to keep that in mind that I'm going to walk according to the circumstances of this word. Amen. I'm going to stand on that. I'm a child of God. Amen. Just like the children of, 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 of Israel, the Jews are children of God. Amen. So now that I've been bought with that price, I'm part of this family. I'm going to discipline myself to following his word. Remember, he said, my sheep follow my voice and they will not hear another. He didn't say goat. Come on, somebody. You're talking about sheep, not no hard-headed goat. Amen. Some goats are one going to say, didn't we do this in your name and that? You know, look at that pride and arrogance. Amen. Come on, somebody. But I'm a sheep. Amen. I'm humbled underneath his power. I follow him around. I don't lead myself around. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. So let's take a look at Zechariah 9, 9 as we can delve into what disciples were doing during the time of Christ when he was here. Prior to him coming into Jerusalem. Let's go to in the Old Testament, Zechariah 9.9. 9. Remember, uh, my father, late Bishop Henry Banks, said, taught us the principles of studying God's word, line upon line, precept upon precept, here, uh, there, and there, and a little, uh, letting the word establish itself in your heart, confirming the word, amen. So we got to keep that in mind, that we are disciplining ourselves to that word, or what? Understanding who we are, what we are, what we have, and what we can do, in and through Christ Jesus, amen. Let's go over to Zechariah, one of the uh, prophets. Amen. Don't, don't, not Zephaniah, Zechariah. <laughs> right? Zechariah 9 9. Let's see what that one says. Amen. Yeah, so he taught us. I'm so thankful to my father that he was able to teach us the word and um, understand how to rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah. So you're always going to have confirmation of the word, both in the old and the new, when it comes to being taught in this ministry, because we have been established to be. A teaching ministry. Amen. Okay, so let's check this out. Zechariah 9 9. <clears throat> All right. Rejoice. I'll hear y'all. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Amen. Why? Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, children of God. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. Hallelujah, the king is here. He'll have no fear because he's going to bring us into glory to glory, blessing to blessings, and his majesty rules forevermore. So the king is coming unto thee. Think about it, he's coming unto you. He is just, hallelujah, and having salvation, hallelujah, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, a foal of an ass. Look at that. Look what the word of God is revealing. This is thousands of years before Jesus came. The prophetic word of Father God said, you're going to know my son because he's going to be riding in a special way. Oh, very peculiar. Only God could do this. He made, he made both the mama and the baby donkey walk side by side together. Woo! <laughs> He's saying something supernatural is going to happen. And so you're going to know it's me. And you're going to know this is my son. The one that I said, the king, the savior. Amen. The, and, and he's going to, he's going to, he ain't going to be prideful. He ain't going to be talking about worship me. Amen. He's going to be pointing to father God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give a shout out to uh, minister Angela Campos. God bless you and happy belated birthday to you. Thank you for joining us today. Happy Palm Sunday to you. So here. This is how we're going to, this is how he said, you're going to know this is going to be another sign. Father God doesn't want us deceived. He spoke his word through his prophet and he told them what is going to happen. Amen. Before it happens. That's the power. Amen. Praise the Lord, brother Steve. Thank you for joining us again today. God bless you. So this was an exciting time like it is now, man. We're seeing so much glory, so much power, so many prophecies being fulfilled rapidly, rapidly. And so now we're getting excited because we know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is on his way and we'll soon be raptured. So just like back then he prophesied that he was coming, guess what? The good news is what again? He's coming again, amen? And there will be signs of his coming, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that's why we're excited, amen? Because this word was fulfilled, amen? This promise was promise made, promise kept. Somebody say that. Promise made, promise kept. Nobody can do it like Father God can do it. Amen? Because he has all power in his hand. He is absolute and sovereign. He's mighty. He's victorious. He's all L-O-E-L-L-I-N. Amen? He is the great I am. And we celebrate you, Father God. And we love you and thank you that your word is true. Praise the Lord. Shout out to, uh, oh, praise the Lord, Minister Virgin uh, Virginia is on from worship. And God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Hallelujah. All right, so let's go. Let's go into uh, now Matthew chapter 21. And we're going to see uh, now this scripture fulfilling the promises of Father God. Amen. Oh, I just love the word. Amen. <laughs> That's why I love studying it every day, meditating on it, chewing, going, um, 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 um. It's a good word. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 21. I just love how Father God's word from the Old Testament to the New is always new and alive and being fulfilled. Amen. So Matthews chapter 21, and we're going to go to the second verse and read what that says. It says, saying unto them, go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. Okay, you're going to see two things. You're going to see a mama donkey and baby donkey. And he said, now think about it. It's like, why is he telling them to get both? Things that make you go, hmm. And a coat with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like Father God's word is coming through. But check it out. Here's some supernatural things. Remember, Jesus got filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the presence of Father God is with him. So what he's saying, remember, he said, the things that I say and do is what the Father tells me to say and do. So Father God, from back then, thousands of years ago, when he gave the prophecy, is now coming out of his mouth. Okay? Remember, whatever things you so believe, what's, you gotta, whatsoever thing you've done inside, you've got to what? Speak them. You've got to say them. Okay? So, so G Father God is speaking through Jesus to the disciples. Amen? Giving them an order of what to follow after. Praise the Lord, Apostle Black. Thank you for joining us today, brother. God bless you. Happy Palm Sunday to you. So he's telling us what? 
Go into, so he's telling them what? To go into the village over against you. How in the world does he know these things? Check it out. And straightway you shall find what? An ass tied and a colt with her. Amen. How does he know these things? Why? The Holy Spirit and Father God is speaking them to him. And he's giving them an order to go over there and get them, loose them and bring them unto me. So every time he gives us instructions, amen, we need to follow them as good disciples, as good children of God, being obedient to carry out what he has commanded us to do. And we will receive a blessing out of our obedience to the king. You do what the king says, man, and a blessing comes down immediately, amen? Because we're fulfilling what Father God wants done here in the earth. Remember, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is an awesome time. This is a revelation time because the disciples now are hearing about something that was prophesied years ago. And think about it. He's telling them where to go to find this. He's not there. He said, you got to go down there and that's going to be over there. How do you know that the people are going to come and move that thing? Come on, somebody. Supernatural. Somebody say supernatural. supernatural. Verse three. And if any man say, he's letting them know, ought uh, ought unto you, you shall what? Say the Lord. He's telling them full instructions. This is what you're going to do. He's telling you something. I'm going to say something. And this is what you're going to say. The Lord has need of them and straightway he will send them. Wow. So Father God already laid it out thousands of years ago. He said, my son going to ride into Jerusalem on a donkey and a foal. God bless you, Pastor Gloria. Thank you for joining us. Amen. So check it out. So he's going to send what? Confirmation after confirmation of his word. That's what he said thousands of years ago through his prophet, uh, Zechariah, right? And so now it's coming for fruition. It's being confirmed. Amen. And so now he's telling them, Perfect instructions to follow so that everything flows. So God already prepared the donkey. He already prepared the person. He already made the city. He already made everything to make sure his will is being carried out on the earth. Isn't that awesome? From thousands of years ago, boom, here it comes. That's why I say don't take none of God's word for granted. Whatever he says is going to happen is going to happen. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, so. Let's check this out. So he's already showing them the revelation of the word being confirmed about the prophecy, amen, of what Zechariah has said is coming to pass. People thought when it was given that it wasn't coming to pass, amen? So guess what? It's coming to pass now, amen? Let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to Matthew's chapter, uh, I mean, let's go to uh, Luke chapter 19. Let's confirm this word out. Luke chapter 19. You are so excited when we see the word being fulfilled in the lives of his people. Amen. Amen. Let's see here. Let's turn to Luke chapter 19. We're going to start at the 28th verse. Amen. Let's see what that says. And he, and when he had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. Amen. So it's giving us more context of what was happening, all right? And it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethpage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives. Hello, somebody. He coming back again to the Mount of Olives. Amen. He sent two of his disciples, all right? Sent two of them. Or he's sending them two by two, right? Shout out to, to my Tava family. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And saying, go ye into the village over against you, okay? In the which at your entering you shall find what a colt tied. He's, still, he's telling them specifically it's going to be tied. Where yet never man sat. Oh, wow. Now he's giving them more information and revelation about the situation. Being really specific is what Father God does, amen? And so he's telling them they're going to find it tied, right? And he wants you to do, loose him and bring him hither. Isn't that interesting? That the king is telling them specifically what they're going to encounter, where it's going to be found from, from beginning to end. Every I dotted, every T crossed of these prophecies are going to be fulfilled. Amen. Verse 31. And if any man asks you, why do you lose him? Thus shall you say unto him, because the Lord has need of him. That's what we read back in Matthews, right? 
Now let's go a little bit further into this. And they that went were sent, went their way and found and found. Come on, somebody. When the Lord gives you instructions, won't you find it? Okay, if he tells you to go do something, won't it be revealed? Because he's God. That's what makes him Father God. A lot of times we tell people go do stuff. I want you to go to the store and go pick up a box of cereal for me of the cornflakes. And it's going to be on the third shelf. And you get that for me and then bring that back. And then you go out there and the whole shelf is cleaned out. <laughs> Not like God, though. Father God tell you something, it's going to be there. Amen. <laughs> Then you're calling on the phone and say, ain't no cornflakes here. <laughs> and they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. Amen. Well, isn't that something? Even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, why loose ye the colt? Amen. Amen. Isn't that interesting? Just what he said they would encounter is happening. Come on. Only Father God knows these things. Only Father God can reveal these things. Amen. Hallelujah. And they said the Lord has need of him. So did they do exactly what he said? He said the Lord has need of him. They repeated everything the Father God said for them to do, being obedient to the will of the Father. Just like Evangelist up here sharing, by you being obedient, amen, to the will of the Father, he's going to carry out those things, amen? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. So here he's speaking to their and giving them instructions. And now they're carrying out those instructions in exactly what he said. Now look at 35. And they brought him to Jesus and they cast their garments upon the colts and they sat Jesus thereon. So think about it. Father God already told the owners of that, of the uh, donkey and, and, the, um, and the baby donkey, what, that, that colt that, you know, the Lord's going to have need of this. And they were already prepared in their heart that when the disciples came, it's almost like a secret passcode, right? <laughs> when he had said to them that the Lord had needed, they were like, all right, here you go. Amen. Isn't that something? That's God. And a lot of times when people get to be used of God to be a blessing unto you, God already set it up and spoke it. Come on, somebody. You already got that favor laid out. That person was born. They, they, they grew up. Now they're sitting at that company. They're in charge over there hiring. The next thing you know, God's using them to hire you. Come on, somebody. Next thing you know, the one that they created, created Fishkill Music Academy, the one that created that whole business, next thing you know, they're hiring you. God created them. Amen? You get in favor. Come on, somebody. Preordained. Amen? Since the beginning of the world, all things of him consist. Amen? Praise the Lord. What does also say here at the verse 36? And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. Mm. As he went, they spread their clothes in the way. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. What are they doing? They are glorifying Father God. They are receiving the king in. They're honoring Father God. They're celebrating Father God and his word being confirmed. A lot of people were rejoicing because they knew that prophecy from Zechariah. They were seeing the word of God being fulfilled, the promise coming to full fruition. Amen. Verse 37. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God. Hallelujah! Disciples work, rejoice and praise God. They glorify God. Amen? With a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Seeing God being fulfilled. Amen? Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What's, what else does it say here? On 38, let's go to uh, verse 38. Saying, blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Mm. 
Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. So they knew that he was coming in the name of the Lord. Amen. He was coming in the name of the Lord. So they were recognizing and celebrating God. Peace in heaven, the glory in the highest. Amen. Peace in heaven, glory in the highest. Hallelujah. This is what we're talking about here. We are celebrating the King of kings and the Lord of lords today that he entered into Jerusalem. The fulfillment of Zechariah 9, 9. The fulfillment of us being delivered from sin, death, hell, and the grave. The fulfillment of a Messiah coming to redeem us from the curse of the law and place us into a new covenant of grace forevermore with him and to his kingdom. There shall be no end. Hallelujah. Verse 39. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. Uh-oh, here we go. Because everybody out there celebrating Father God, rejoicing at the fulfillment of the word. Where are my religious people at? Well, because they don't have a heart, amen, for God, amen. They don't have a heart for God, so they miss the revelation. That's what happens when you're blinded by the enemy because of religion. They should have been out there rejoicing with them. What? They should have said, oh, Zechariah 9-9 is happening. But no, they missed it. Why? They're caught up in their flesh. They're worshiping the law. They're doing their own thing. It ain't about God's will, about their will. Daggone goat. <laughs> so they missed it. They want to come out there criticizing and, and, and condemning and, and doing the, the deeds that they always like to do because Jesus said that you are of your father the devil. Come on, somebody. So he, he's, he's busy talking to them right now. Things that make you go, hmm. So here, here they go starting all this trouble. It's really a sad thing when the children of God miss out on the blessing of what God's father, of what father God's word say. So here they said, and some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and he said, verse 40, unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Woo! We used to, we used to sing that song, uh, DCPM days, eh? He said, if you don't praise them, the rocks will cry out. I don't want them crying out for me. <laughs> I'm going to praise them. I'm going to exalt them. And, and what did he say here? He's correcting them again. He's letting them know. If, yeah, man, he said, if they'd be quiet, the rocks would cry out unto Father God and celebrate him. You can't stop the movement of Father God. Verse 41. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, if thou hadst known, even thou, at least in thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. Amen. Don't be blinded now. It's time to have your heart and your mind wide open right now. Let him, let the King of King and Lord of Lord enter into your heart today. Amen. As you celebrate his triumphant victory, as he entered in to the final phase of what God had purposed and sent him to him to do, to redeem us from the curse of the law. So thankful for this Palm Sunday as we celebrate the glory of God, Father God, and what he's done for us. And we remember not to forget the great sacrifice that he made to help us and to bless us and to save us, amen? We got a true savior and his name is Jesus Christ. And he is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to the Father but by him. All this confusion going on out in the world ain't nothing but the hand craftiness of Satan. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of God's people. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Set them free. Woo. I bind every lying demonic force out there that's coming to your mind and misidentify you and tell you something that you're not. Mm. You're called and sent here by Father God. He's your creator. He's your lover. Yes. And unto him, you owe your entire life and existence. Oh, thank you, Father God. Thank you. Give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for your time.
So again, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Now, we have said a blessing over these palms today, and we're going to celebrate that as we pass them out today and give God the glory as a, as a momentum, as a reminder of Father God and what he's done for us. Amen. And we're so thankful and grateful because he is awesome in all of his ways. He is awesome in everything that he's doing. He is mighty in power. Amen. Don't you forget it. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord today and celebrate him. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if you feel the love of Jesus tugging upon your heart today and you want to let him come in and be Lord over your life like he is ours, we have a simple prayer that we would like for you to pray to begin your walk with him. Amen. Now, remember, this is just the first step in your walk and your relationship with him. Amen. This is just your first step. So you're going to have to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to have to learn to follow after his word. Amen. Hallelujah. And follow after him. Amen. That is really important. Amen. You got to stand on his word in these times so you don't be deceived. He's calling upon you right now to come on in. That you don't miss out because of some other religion, because of some other distraction, because of the enemy's got your heart and mind blinded from the truth. Come on out. In the name of Jesus, come and shout and celebrate with us the goodness of the Lord. Amen. He loves you. He don't want to see you destroyed. He wants to see you back home with the father where you belong, totally healed and restored. So just say this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. For I believe you went to Calvary's mountain, suffered and died. And paid the price for my sins. I also believe that on the third day, you rose from the grave, ascended into heaven, and now sit on the right hand of majesty on high, making intercessions for me. So come into my life. Lead me all my days, and I will follow you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world and from you. Behold, all things have become new. You are now born again in Jesus' name. Your name is now written in the Lamb's book of life. And guess what? You're part of one of the biggest, largest families on planet Earth, the body of Christ. He will never leave you or forsake you. And you will be forever with your Father. Amen. Amen. And nothing can separate you from the love of God. Amen. God bless you. Well, praise the Lord. Like I said, we got these palms over here. I want to sing out of the song of Hosanna. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you'd like to receive a palm, then you either have to contact us or write us, and we can mail you one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ship it out to you. Amen. It's been prayed over for you to celebrate the Lord and to keep in remembrance what he has done. Amen. Come on up, Pastor Glenda. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, come on up, evangelists. Amen. Minister in training. Amen. Grab your mics as we close out in this song of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on back up, Pastor Jethro. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You can move this out of the way, son. Move this out of the way, please. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Here you go. Amen. <laughs> Hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give something to Brother Eric over here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh. 
Oh, magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Come on, faithful praise. Oh, magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Say it, Hosanna. Bless it. Bless it be the rock. Bless it be the rock of my salvation. Oh, then, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. One more time. Oh, oh, magnify the Lord. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. He's my rock. He's my rock, my shorty shield. He's a real in the middle of the real. He's a lily of the valley. He's a bright and morning star. Make no difference what they say. I'm going to go down with his and pray. I'm going to go down looking for Jesus till he comes. Hey, one more time. He's my rock. He's my rock, my sword and shield. He's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's a lily of the valley. He's a bright and morning star. There's no difference in what they say. I'm going to go down with his and pray. I'm going to go down looking for Jesus. I'm going to keep on looking for Jesus. I'm going to keep on looking for Jesus until he comes. Yeah! Hallelujah! Happy Palm Sunday! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So as we close out with the benediction coming from Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, it says the following. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord that be constant upon you and give you peace. I shall put my name upon my children and I will bless them. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Remember, Father God loves you. We love you. And, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Happy Paul Sunday. Happy Paul Sunday.
Yeah.